If you have neck pain or jaw pain, it's very important to know how to get from sitting to standing efficiently without aggravating this injury. It's especially important if you've already done therapy to get this area better and functioning so that you don't go back into those patterns. That's what I'm gonna teach you today. I'm Katie, a licensed massage therapist, and I specialize in head, neck, and jaw pain. I love talking about self-care and self-treatment for head, neck, and jaw pain so much that I created an online course so that you can learn how to do this at home at helpheadpain.com. To understand how to move from sitting to standing and standing to sitting without aggravating your neck or jaw pain, let's first look at how many people will move dysfunctionally or poorly. So in this motion, I want you to look how I'm pulling from my head or pulling from my jaw and um, visualize the kinking and the compromising in the base of the skull and upper cervicals or upper neck vertebrae. All right, so most of the times you would have been sitting with a very narrow posture, uh, narrow hip spacing. Maybe those legs were crossed, so you've only uncrossed your legs. So you can see how the legs are very close together here. And as you get up, it's a process that most people will try to lift straight up or pull from the neck. And in that case, I can't even get myself up. Let's look at it from the side. So of lifting up, taking that back, thrusting forward with the jaw to try to get yourself up, literally up. We're gonna think of moving in a different direction with this uh, getting fixed, all right? So we're gonna have a gentle cueing. Uh, first, let's get our hips in the right position. We're gonna have our hips shoulder width apart and our knees over top of our ankle joints. So that's our prep. So that way we have a nice base to push into as we propel ourselves to a standing position. Our gentle cueing motion that I'm gonna give you that's gonna be very helpful. That way, cues help to create a habit. So we're gonna have a cueing motion of the pinky side of the hands. They're just going to gently tap into this hip fold here. Um, and that's gonna remind us this is where we bend versus this is where we bend, all right? So we're gonna gently tap into here to remind us to bend forward and at this point, uh, my heaviest parts of my body, my butt, are going backwards. And the other heavier part of my body, my chest, is going over top of my knees. So you can see that I have bent my whole upper torso forward, bending at the hip. Now my weight is over my feet and ankles, and I can propel myself forward and up. To get back, it is similar, just the opposite. Gentle reminder here, just a tapping of a cueing. That's gonna remind us first we fold at the hips, not at the back. Fold at the hips, stick the butt out. Our weight's now coming over our knees and our feet, and I can gently go into sitting with that. Pay attention with it this time. I want you to notice that I'm not pulling with the head, and also notice where my eyes are focused. All right, so I'm gonna do my gentle cueing to remember to fold forward. So here it is at normal speed, folding forward and up. So my eyes have not stayed looking at the horizontal plane, but they'll get there. If I have my eyes at the horizontal plane, I'm gonna naturally pull with my head. So that's a big important takeaway. So as I go forward and I'm up, and coming down. The great thing about this coming down is if you're coming down in that pattern, you're not going to slam yourself down into the chair and create a lot of vibrations through the sacrum uh, or the coccyx that goes up the spine. And you'll also uh, be getting the glute maximus or largest glute muscle behind um, the ischial tuberosities, which the ischial tuberosities are the two bony butt bones that will come down that you can feel going into the chair. We want them to go down into the chair. So we're gonna be pre um, preparing ourselves for the, a better seated position that we can have a nicer, taller spine versus coming into this position where our pelvis is already slumped forward. When we come back with our butt already angled back, that glute max is gonna be behind us, ischial tuberosity is down, now our spine is lengthened out and I'm ready for sitting. All right, if you like this video, 
please um, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, dig around, see what else I can help you with, and then visit helpheadpain.com. I have an online course there to help teach you how to take care of yourself. There you'll find a free video that you can sign up for that will teach you uh, jaw, massage, jaw massage for one muscle that can create headaches, tooth pains, facial pains, and you'll learn how to massage that, as well as one habit change to try now to get out of some neck pain. Thanks for joining.